Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizard. Now today we shall look at something quite uh, common. We're going to see how to filter uh, JTable, okay, dynamically. Now guys, I can type data right here, uh, random data, okay. For instance, let's say that I'm typing things like these ones. Then something like maybe a V. Okay. Now, or if I want to filter, I just come right here and start typing. You can see the data get filtered. Okay. And if I continue, uh, it even refines uh, the data. Like, what about if it is something that is not there? It just simply disappears. Okay. As I type uh, moving backwards you can also see like i come right here i start typing v and you can see my data getting filtered uh, very well right here okay so guys this is what we're going to see we're going to see how to search or filter uh de it depends on how you like calling it okay we're going to see how to filter data dynamically uh, using uh, of course a uh, text field a text field a j text field and our j table guys welcome we get started now guys as usual the first thing that we have to do we have to design your form please design yours uh, here you can see this is just a text field uh, here you have my empty j table i have three text fields right here i have a button three labels so as you can see my j table is empty i've even uh, removed the column headers and the row headers uh, and the rows i mean now you can see if you want to do so just come and set the column count to zero also set the row count to zero so it shall be completely blank so guys that's it uh now the first thing that we shall want to do of course is to add data we shall be adding data at runtime okay on button click so we shall come here uh and handle the add row add rows uh action performed event now before we do that one of course uh, remember uh for our data our j table uh, we shall want to create the columns first. We want to do all these things at runtime, uh, creating columns and rows. So we shall create a method to create for us uh, the columns at runtime. No, uh, I'll just call the method uh, create columns. So come and say private uh, void create columns. The first thing that we shall do right here uh, is very simple. Uh, in this create columns. First, in fact, uh, right here uh, on top, right here, let's just come and uh, declare a default table uh, model, okay, for a J table, default table model instance for a J table. Now, the first thing we shall come right here and assign uh, that particular DM. Remember, we've just declared it. We shall come and uh, get the table model from our J table and then assign it. So, come and say DM is equal to J table one dot get model and that's it we cast we make sure that we cast this one uh, to a uh, default table model after that one we shall add our columns add columns and to do that one is simple just say dm dot add column then you pass there uh, the column name so for us in our case my first column shall be just the name i'll add uh, the second and third uh, columns okay i'll have a total of three columns so i have the uh, add position and team this shall be our columns now uh, after that one that one we through the columns we shall come and create rows okay add our row data okay remember so if it's empty so come and say private avoid i'll call uh, the method to add our raw data populate we shall be adding data dynamically of course so remember we had already uh, instantiated we already assigned uh, our default table model object remember we declared it uh, globally so we won't need to uh, reassign it again so what we're going to do is very simple we're simply going to populate uh, that the uh, our dm uh, we're going to call its add row which shall of course expect an uh, object array so we shall come and declare that particular object array i'll call mine row data 
then uh, right there we shall add uh, the particular items so our populate method shall take three par parameters okay i shall take the name position and team so first string name uh, right there this shall be our first parameter then we shall also have the position and lastly we shall have the team so these parameters we shall pass them to our array so we shall have there the name the pose and the team and that shall constitute a single row for us in our j table now the next thing that we need to do uh, so far we just need to come and call that particular method uh, when the button is clicked so come and say populate our first value uh, shall of course be uh, we're going to add name txt so come and say name txt dot get text this one shall uh, give us uh, what the user shall type in the name txt then we shall have post txt as well and then uh, we shall have it right there and lastly we shall have the team txt dot get text no guys those shall be our data but uh, after adding our data we just want to make sure that we clear all our text boxes uh, to give uh, the user a better feedback okay so that he can know very well that he's already added the data so guys that's we're through with adding the data now the next thing that we want to do of course is to filter okay we want to deal with the filter filter is simple we shall just create a method to help us filter let me just come and create uh, the method uh, right here or let me come and create it right here filter data so uh, we shall create the method to do so just come and say private void filter and by the our filter method shall take a string parameter which I'll just call query okay our uh, string parameter known as query so to filter uh, just like sorting we're going to use the table row sorter to help us filter so let's just come right here and say uh, table row sorter class now right there and then it's a generic we shall pass there default table model okay we're going to pass there the table room model so for this one uh how should they call it let me call it let me just call it a uh, table rosota tr equal to new table rosota then uh being a generic we're going to pass there our default table model then uh, right there uh we're going to pass our dm default table model uh, instance this that's it that's it uh now what we're going to do is very simple first we're going to set it to a j table okay we're going to set it to a j table and to do so it's simple uh, just come right here uh say j table one which is our j table dot set rosota rosota then we're going to pass there our tables rosota instance okay that's what we're going to do actually may okay yeah tr we pass over tr no guess that's it uh the next thing that we're going to do we're going to set is row filter so come and say uh tr which is our default uh, table sorter instance we're going to not sort tr dot set row filter okay and then uh, right there uh, we're going to pass uh actually we need to pass our query but come come here and say row filter row filter dot rejects filter okay then is when we pass our query right there and that's it now the next thing that we're going to do uh we've already created our filter uh, method what we simply need to do now is to come and implement it and what we want to do when that when the user types something right here uh, we filter dynamically okay no we have, should not even type click a button we just want that as he types we filter for him 
so right click uh, your uh, filter filter text box uh, then come to the event section then come to the key and come to the key released so when the user has just typed and released the key we're going to call uh, our filter okay so just come and say a filter which is this one right here actually right here we should pass our query and then uh, just to uh, make sure we, we're just going to uh, create that particular string right here so query uh, equal to we're going to get uh, whatever has been typed filter txt which is my text field dot get text and then maybe I'll just uh, make sure that it is to lower keys okay this one to lower keys guys uh, that's it uh, that's how we feel that. now the only thing uh, after that one I think we are through I don't see any error no the only thing that we come and do uh, we come and run our project let's just uh, run our project and come and see ladies and gentlemen here is our project uh, no if I come right here I type my stuff okay I click add remember this is filtering not sorting actually so uh, if I come right here I start typing a you can see very well uh, my stuff is getting filtered okay if I go type something that is not there it, it gets uh, okay now if I come for instance H you can see very well uh, it's getting filtered so well okay so guys I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial please if you have uh, leave a comment down below would like to hear from you guys uh, just like this video share it with friends and family and please subscribe to this channel so that you continue receiving tutorial like this ones on a regular basis guys you can also check our other JTable tutorials we have plenty of JTable tutorials please make sure that you visit our channel and check them out guys i'll catch you next time and uh, take care and see you